Lindsay Lohan is making enemies across the pond with reports of a fiery confrontation between Lilo and supermodel Kate Moss. Rumor has it Kate Moss isn't too happy with Lindsay's recent relocation to London where the troubled starlet has been living for the last several months. The reason behind the drama? Moss's husband, Jamie Hintz of The Kills. Apparently Moss discovered Lilo has been contacting Hintz who worked on music for the actress last year. Britain's The Sun reports the model confronted Lindsay at the London hotspot Chiltern Firehouse. But it doesn't look like leaving London is in Lilo's plan. She's currently preparing to make her stage debut in London's West End in the classic play Speed the Plow. If I was your Things are heating up between Justin Bieber and Selena Gomez. After reconciliation rumors ramped up last week, the couple appears to be out of hiding. Jelena hit up the movies for a date night in L.A. over the weekend. <laughs> and all signs point to a rekindled romance. If you want me, I'm accepting applications. So long as we can keep this record on rotation. And even though rumor has it Selena wants to take it slow, she and the Beeb spent even more time together yesterday, heading to the LA Zoo where they posed for pictures with a fan. Kanye West and Kim Kardashian threw their daughter North her first birthday party this weekend. And after their extravagant nuptials, this is no surprise, this party was over the top. Dubbed Kinchella, the weekend event was a child version of the Coachella Music Festival, complete with a Ferris wheel and lip-syncing musical performances from the Jenner sisters. Talk show host Katie Kirk said, I do this weekend during a small ceremony at her East Hamptons home. The 57-year-old married her boyfriend of nearly two years, financier John Molnar, in front of 50 guests. This is Couric's second marriage. One year after his tragic death, we are getting the first look of our last look at James Gandolfini. I had something once. I was respected. Do you know whose money your jacket here? I was feared. The international trailer for the Golden Globe Award winning actor's final film has just been released. Gandolfini plays a familiar role in The Drop as an ex-con trying to straighten his life out. Our first glimpse at Gandolfini's final role comes just days after the one-year anniversary of his death. The Sopranos actor died of a heart attack in Italy last June at the age of 51. <laughs> Cyrus brought his achy, breaky heart to Winnipeg over the weekend. The country crooner and father to Miley Cyrus headlined a show for National Aboriginal Day. I really, you know, feel at home here. I feel like I got a lot of, a lot of friends. Uh, the fans have been great here. And while his daughter has been making headlines over the past year for her racy performances, Cyrus says Miley has her heart in the right place. All of my kids respect and cherish other people. There's just way too much hate going around these days and kind of feel like it's our responsibility to represent love and hope. And I know that that's kind of what the Cyrus family's about. We want to know in the case of Lilo versus Kate Moss, who would you place your bets on? Tweet us at N-City.